Hey guys, Coach Cindy here, and today I wanted to jump on here to talk about the overwhelmed feelings we can feel, and I'm gonna call this one six ways to overcome um, the overwhelm, but I really like the idea of six ways to dance with the feeling of overwhelmed. And it's constantly moving from one task to another, and it seems to be the norm in today's society. Emails, texts, Instagram, Facebook, and then it's like um, making lunch, and then it's like doing work, cleaning the house, folding laundry, watching TV, you know like I was watching a meditation video the other day while putting laundry away and the whole video was about how we multitask and we don't have a single focus anymore and I was like oh my god I'm doing exactly what he's talking about how often do we catch ourselves saying like I'm so busy or I just don't have time or I'm feeling so overwhelmed I just can't handle this despite what we might believe um, feeling overwhelmed isn't such a bad thing maybe it isn't right we often equate being overwhelmed with uh, feeling stress but really what we're doing is experiencing a lot of feeling all at one time we've meshed the big and the small combined and there's a lot going on in our lives on the positive side it can also be an opportunity for growth and it can force us to pay attention to everything else perhaps it is more about how we respond to the feelings of overwhelmed do you get lost in the feelings of chaos and just forget um, all that is important to you do you become consumed with fighting one small fight of an uh, after another and then feel as though it's robbing you of life and real joy or do you uh, embrace the hectic energy that comes with it? While we can all become overwhelmed uh, from time to time, feeling this way all the time, it can become um, a roadblock to leading the life that you want, having the body that you want, the energy, the body confidence, the relationship with exercise, food, you insert whatever it is that you want. It robs us of the today in, uh, in the bigger picture and can make it hard for us to focus on what is important or allow us to prioritize our lives. Feeling overwhelmed is bound to all of, uh, happen to all of us at some point or another. The key is learning how to cope with it and not let it consume us. Here are six ways that I'm going to tell you to deal with feelings of overwhelmed. So the first one I call hold versus pause. When we get so wrapped up in the little details that don't really matter in the grand scheme of things, we put our happiness on hold or our goals on hold. Instead, press pause. Breathe through it, let go of perfection, and think beyond a particular moment to what will bring you the most happiness in the long run and focus on what you want from your life in general. Number two I call is joker versus ace. If you're always choosing a joker, it means that you just keep juggling as many balls as you can in the air, but you keep dropping them. Whether you see it or not, you're so wrapped up in trying to keep all your balls in the air that inevitably those things or people who are important to you just start slipping away. You feel less harmonious and the vision of your ideal happy life just moves further and further away. Rather than choosing the joker, try uh, pulling out an ace instead uh, and consider juggling what you know you can handle and juggling them in order of your priorities. Number three, I call this rushing versus resting. It's far too easy to get consumed by small tasks and errands. We keep plugging away, staying in what we know. This can often lead to mindlessness and overindulging, especially in food, a lack of exercise, or maybe it's alcohol or other treats and other vices and habits basically that work against the goals and the values that we have for ourselves. Yet we choose, um, so, we can choose to schedule breaks, the resting versus the rushing, um, time with friends and family, technology-free days, preparing a nourishing meals, moving a quick workout like versus doing an hour or going to the gym, we do a home workout, a shorter workout, uh, shorter meditations versus in a formal practice. You know, sometimes it means locking yourself in the bathroom just to, to have two minutes to breathe. And of course, a good night's sleep. Number four, I call this habits versus rules. It can be hard to resist breaking bad habits, of course, such as staying up too late or checking our emails um, during dinner, or especially just before bed and then we get wired, um, or it's that really late, late night snacking or that sort of thing. It is easy for them to creep in when we are distracted and already stretched to our max. 
protecting yourself against bad habits by creating simple rules for yourself, such as I'm going to bed early, I'm gonna wake up at the same time each day, I'm not gonna allow pho phones, or mine is past nine o'clock, um, you know, I gotta get my workout in at this time or whatever, so I make those rules for myself to help me be successful. Um, and I obviously set si time aside to eat dinner with my partner or spend time with the dogs or spend time with my friends. These little guidelines we set for ourselves can help keep bad habits at bay. Number five is flailing versus feeling. It's okay to express how you feel to others. We are allowed to say no uh, when we need to and ask for uh, some time out. It's important to let people know that you are feeling stressed or anxious and need some time to yourself. If we don't, and then sometimes we end up feeling lost uh, when things uh, start to go away uh, because we often uh, become attached to our ideas of situations um, turning our uh, out a particular way the way we want basically but when we focus too much on the details we hit a wall and can struggle to find the balance we need in our lives instead focus on how you feel Create space, cultivate those feelings today. It will help release attachment to the smaller details while still allowing us to remain committed to what matters. And number six, the final one, chaos versus planning. Plan, 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 plan. Planning and organizing your life shouldn't be as one more thing on your to-do list. Scheduling your tasks and activities in advance is an effective tool that gives you more control over your life and sense of accomplishment. When we rush from one errand to the next, not only does your life get cluttered, but so does your mind. Life is hectic enough, so make it easier on yourself by planning your schedule, either by day or by uh, day to day or by week. You'll even have a better handle on their priorities and will feel more prepared and confident to face the day ahead. So these are six ways that you're gonna dance or overcome the overwhelm that comes at various times in our lives. And they are hold versus pause. Uh, so you wanna do the pause mentality first, joker versus ace, pull out an ace on rushing versus resting learn to rest habits versus rules uh, flailing versus feeling feeling and chaos versus planning so I hope that helps you today as you navigate feelings of overwhelmed or perhaps in the future you'll revisit this one and have a different experience with the overwhelm uh, feeling and learn and um, learn to appreciate that it could be an opportunity for growth thanks